In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on March 16, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Atlanta Hawks vs. Charlotte Hornets The Atlanta Hawks will look to push their winning streak to four consecutive games when they visit the Charlotte Hornets tonight at the Spectrum Center. Atlanta is in ninth place in the East at 34-34 after picking up a 122-113 home win over the Portland Trail Blazers on Monday as a 14-point favorite. Charlotte is one spot back at 34-35 after beating the Oklahoma City Thunder 134-116 on Monday covering as an 11.5 points road favorite. These teams have met three times season, with Atlanta winning two of those including a 113-91 victory at Charlotte on January 23rd to cover as a 1.5 points underdog. The Hawks hold a 67-58 all-time advantage in the regular season against the Hornets. The Hawks are 10-25 against the spread in their last 35 road games and 0-6 against the spread in their last six games overall. The Hornets are 3-12-1 against the spread in their last 16 home games and 4-1 against the spread in their last five games as a favorite. The under is 4-1 in Hawks' last five road games. The over is 4-1 in Hornets' last five overall. The Hawks are 4-9-1 against the spread in the last 14 meetings in Charlotte. Both power forward John Collins and small forward Gordon Hayward are ruled out already for this game and the Hawks should be able to control the game. These defenses have been showing a split in the opposite direction as of late as Atlanta is allowing 115 points in their last three games while Charlotte Charlotte is giving up 120 points in their previous four games. The Charlotte Hornets are going to get the benefit of the doubt at home, and they're showing signs of getting back on track. But you can argue the Hawks are the better team here overall. The Hawks blew out the Hornets when these teams last met on the road, and they've won five of their last eight games against them overall. So the Atlanta Hawks to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Hornets are no slouch themselves at ninth in offensive rating behind strong perimeter shooting and as they operate at a top three tempo in the NBA, many of their games are played in the 120s and beyond. While showing a bit of improvement lately, the Hawks are still not a good defense at all with a 54.3 effective field allowed to rank 27th in the league and losing their second leading rebounder Collins presents more problems. Only one of the matchups between these teams has gone over this number so far, but based on how both offenses have shot the ball all season, that shouldn't be expected to continue. These are two of the best scoring offenses in the NBA going up against two inefficient defenses. So expect a high level of shot making on tonight. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Philadelphia 76ers vs. Cleveland Cavaliers The Philadelphia 76ers hit the road to take on the Cleveland Cavaliers in an Eastern Conference showdown. Philadelphia comes in with seven wins in its last ten games but off of a loss to Denver on Monday night. The Cavaliers are just four to six in their last ten games but are coming off of a big overtime win over the Clippers tonight. Looking at the betting trends, the 76ers are nine to four against the spread in their last 13 road games, eight to three against the spread in their last 11 games following a loss, and 1-5 against the spread in their last six games overall. The Cavaliers are 1-5 against the spread in their last six games as an underdog, and 9-2 against the spread in their last 11 home games against a team with a winning road record. Philadelphia is on a roll with James Harden in the lineup and Embiid should be able to do as he pleases against a very soft Cleveland interior when they don't have Jared Allen. Embiid is looking at a 25-14 night, and Harden should be pushing towards a triple-double in his own rights. The 76ers are coming into this meeting as the team in better form despite losing the Nuggets in their last outing and they've already beaten the Cavaliers twice this season. The 76ers are also 8-3 against the spread in their last 11 games following a loss. Cleveland will need a huge night from Evan Mobley just to stay close in this matchup. Philadelphia 76ers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick.
James Harden gets a bad rep as a horrible defender, and it's true that opposing backcourts have had some successful nights versus the Sixers lately. That being said, four of the past five Philadelphia games have gone under the betting total, and 23 of the Cavaliers' last 31 home games have also gone under. With very little inside presence, Cleveland will be one and done on a lot of trips which will lead Philadelphia's third slowest pace to dictate the tempo of this one. So under the projected total is our full game total pick. Denver Nuggets vs. Washington Wizards We will have some Eastern vs. Western Conference action today as we have the Denver Nuggets and the Washington Wizards squaring off inside of the Capital One Arena in Washington. The Nuggets are entering this game at 41-28 this season while the Wizards are coming in at 29-38. The Denver Nuggets are playing some of their best ball of the season right now and they're winning in the favorite role by an average of five points. The Washington Wizards are allowing 51.9% shooting in their last five games, while losing by an average of six points during that span. The Nuggets will again be without Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. while Aaron Gordon is listed as questionable for this one due to an illness. The Wizards have been in terrible shape and their confidence took another hit after getting blown out by the Warriors in their last outing. The major difference is on the defensive side of the court as the Nuggets are 11th with a 110.4 adjusted defensive rating per dunks and threes, while the Wizards are 25th in the NBA with a 113.5 adjusted defensive rating. Kristaps Porzingis has only played in four games since being traded to Washington and is going to have to get used to the game plan with his new team while guarding Jokic. The Wizards are going backwards as the regular season soon comes to a close. I'll stick with the more reliable Nuggets to stay hot here, so Denver Nuggets to win and and cover the spread as favorites as our full game side pick. Both teams are playing at a more methodical pace this season and it makes sense to slow the ball down. While having the ball, the Nuggets take 14.7 seconds per possession while the Wizards are taking 15.2 seconds per possessions which are both on the bottom half of the league. As a result, both teams do not get off as many shot attempts throughout the game as Denver is averaging 86.2 field goal attempts per game while Washington is averaging 86.1 shot attempts per game. The under has hit in six of the last eight Nuggets road games as well as in seven of the previous nine Wizards games against teams with a winning record. Neither team plays with a lot of pace. Denver is 19th in pace of play and Washington is 23rd, so these teams are pretty methodical. That makes sense when you have Jokic and he needs time in the half court to post up and create for others. You can say the same thing about Porzingis needing to touch the ball when he's on the floor though Kuzma also likes to create. Denver has gone under in three of their last four games. They'll get their tempo and will play more of a half-court game against the Wizards. So under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now. So if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.